very welcome to the session. Uh, thank you for coming, and we'll try to to introduce how to design components, design extensions, not only for Joomla, for everything, not only even for web developing or any software developing uh, for people who are not familiar, uh, not used to code, uh, people even that uh, are already developers but uh, have no uh, knowledge about the software engineering concepts. I will try to not be so technical. If you have any question, any concept to, to get better explanation, please feel free to, to ask them. The name of the presentation is Building Components in Joomla, an approach for developers for non-developers. The double sense of the title more or less give an idea of what I, we're talking about. My name is Juan Sanchez. Uh, I'm a backend developer. And I work in Jensen Technologies with Soren. So many of you know him. And this is my email address, you can keep in touch with me whenever you want. Uh, what about me? I'm a software engineer, web developer and problem solver. Because more the the most things I do you know, is not only development but fixing bugs but uh, issues and so on. I'm an open source contributor for Joomla. Uh, in fact, since yesterday I'm a part of the testing team of Joomla yeah. and I also contribute for in Rabu language for another project. My free time I'm a pianist, composer and I love mountain, so I'm a mountaineer and skier. What is Jensen Technologies? We are based in Granada, in the south of Spain. Uh, we are a small company, but pretty smart. Uh, we focus mostly on Joomla development, and we have uh, more or less 10 years in the market. This is our team. It's a pretty nice weather in Christmas in the south of Spain, as you can see. And uh, those are some of our projects, uh, Component Creator, Nano, Translate, not web design, it's a consultory uh, service and automatic backlinks, it's a uh, better uh, link exchange backlinks and getting higher rank in this search engines. For who is this talk? Users familiar with Joomla, with no coding knowledge. Why? Because we can start a meeting station in Joomla uh, even if we hire someone else to, to develop the extension, we can get a better communication with them. So, it's interesting. Users with some coding knowledge but not familiar or beginners in Joomla. In my case, I'm not an experienced uh, developer in Joomla. Uh, I've been developing in Joomla for one year, more. But it's so useful to have knowledge about uh, uh, PHP, Symfony, Laravel, or whatever framework you use. Uh, Joomla developers who want to save time improving their developing process. Why? It's uh, related to the first point. Uh, you can save time, getting better communication, and giving some tools to, to, to do it. And of course, anyone keen to learn about the development process. This picture, I think uh, it's hard to read the text, but uh, some teacher uh, showed me in the first year of college. And I think if you are a freelance or you work in a small company, you will know what does it mean. Between the first picture and the last one, there is a lot of process. And 
some information can get lost in translation process. How the customer explain it is the first uh, picture and what the customer really need is the last one. You can see uh, the project leader, what the analyst design, the programmer wrote, the business consultant sold and how the, the customer paid and so on. I think it's pretty uh, good explanation about what can uh, a project that is not good design can be. Component design. And it's not only for components, okay? It's any kind of software design. And when I mean design, I don't mean uh, the visual part of the project. I mean the architecture. I mean the, the plan of the uh, project. Requirements. What our customer needs. Okay? What we want to do and what is the, the, the features, the utilities that our customer wants. Scope. There is a subtle difference between the requirements and scope. Because uh, some features that our customer demands can be uh, pretty great and, and useful. And of course, we can offer some feature that <coughs> the customer didn't want at the beginning, but could be very useful for, for them. Architecture, that is a, a, a main point in the design. It's not the same uh, to scale a, a project, to, to, to have a project that can grow and grow and grow and have a single corporate website. So the architecture we should use for one project could be different than we should use for another different one. And this is the main point of the, the presentation and the, the thing we are going around. Software lifecycle. Anyone here is familiar with the main uh, patterns of software lifecycle? Anyone? Nobody? Okay. So, uh, how many of you uh, have in uh, is in charge uh, permanently with customers? And how many of you that are in contact with customers are developers? Okay. So, you know a lot of software lifecycle, even if you don't know that. Let's go. We have, uh, I'm talking about uh, two main models of <coughs> software lifecycle, but there are a lot of uh, models, and I think uh, I, I'm focused on two because there are the classic models and the most useful mo models. Waterfall, prototypes, spiral, spiral and prototypes are more or less the same. And others like iterative, incremental, agile, extreme, and so on. This is a waterfall model. It's a linear model. And it's a kind of uh, sorting the task that we should do in the design. <coughs> First of, of the of the task is the requirements. You, we should define all the requirements. We should uh, get clear what the client uh, wants, what we need. After that is the design. The design is talking about scope, talking about architecture, talking about uh, deadlines. Okay, talking about price too. And then we can implement not only on our own, we can hire uh, another company, another person to, to do it. Verification is uh, kind of testing and it's 
uh, one step that so many presentations are going about that, so we can skip. And maintenance, okay? This is pretty uh, clear, but it has a problem. It's no wrong tree. There is no way back to the design, even implementation. So, so many people used to uh, go step by step, going from, for example, from requirements to design, then going back to requirements, and then going back to design. If everything is okay, then go down to implementation and test in pairs until the last step. What if we take this model, but we finish returning to the beginning. This is the, the spiral model, okay? If you look at the diagram, we can, uh, we can see the same process of waterfall once, twice, and third time, okay? It can be uh, repeat any time we need, any time. Uh, 10 times, uh, 20, 100 times. And uh, look at this triangle in gray color. This is prototype model. What, what is the difference be be between uh, spiral and prototypes? Prototypes is a spiral design, but every single prototype has functionality on its own. Okay? A piece of code that works. So, what we should do in the face of. Uh, first, of all, first of all, I'm going to focus on that model because it's uh, basic to understand the other. So, what we should do in the design step? Okay? The most important thing is design here because implementation, if we are developers, we have no problem with that. We can use a tool or we can hire anyone to do it. Let's go to design. The data model. What is this? Anybody of you knows about data model? The concept? Yes? What do you think? Uh, about when someone says data model. The first of all, you, you have in your mind. Structure. Structure. But which is structure? Database. 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 Okay, perfect. Not only database. We can think about an API. Okay. Fields. And when I say fields, I can say variables. It depends the, the, the source of data we, we're having, okay? Of course, filters. If we handle a lot of data, we should filter it, okay? Tables, when I say tables, I can say classes, interfaces, okay? Relationships and data redundancy. This is the main point here because if we model a good uh, data structure, a good database, we should avoid a lot of problems in the future. What is worth for a database? Avoiding data redundancy, having the data pretty good organized pretty mm, good structure and it, not make, it, it doesn't make sense if you search for a string that is many times uh, repeating a, in a database, even in different tables. If we talk about Joomla, we can't forget the component parameters. You know about <coughs> component parameters, what is you work on June, right? So, component parameters is a kind of variables, fields that are global for the whole exchange. <coughs> okay? The 
the requirements. Let's go to a practical. At the moment, we have talked about the theory, but let's go and let's put a, a practical uh, example for for all the theory. Uh, I propose to build a component to handle music information. Okay, those music information we can. Uh, make a kind of uh, database with bands, genres, uh, records, and record types. Okay? What I propose in data model is a uh, kind of diagram. For people who don't uh, know about diagrams and about uh, that kind of language tools to, to model data, this is not a UML, this is not a, a relationship diagram, but it's a sort of to get pretty clear what are we handling, which data. Let's start with bands. Bands could be a table which handles the name of the band, of course, the country where the band is from, the GR foundation of the band, and if this band is already active or is, is valid, okay? We can put whatever field we want or we need, but I, uh, the scope of the, the example is pretty small to, to be after today. Uh, genres, uh, name and description, okay? And of course, one band, but so many journals. Oh, I'm sorry, the same journal can have a lot of bands, right? For example, if we talk about rock, so many bands play rock. If we talk about jazz, so many bands play jazz. But usually, one band is focused on one style, okay? Records. <coughs> One band records so many albums, right? Which information could be interesting to handle in a record? Title, of course. Year, released year. How many tracks have the record? The track list and the type. The type could be leaf album, could be uh, a long play, an EP, single, so on. Why did I put type as string? Anybody suggest a better way to do it? Please. And what does those lines mean? Relationship. Relations. Sure. So, this relation on the left half from 1 to n, one journal, is played by n bands. And of course, one band has n elements. Okay? This is more or less the data model that we should get for getting our component uh, or extension developed. Even if we are not developers, we should get things a little bit clear to mm, getting better information from uh, a developer we hire, or even using tools for which helps developing. Okay? Relations. Okay? Uh, it's compulsory for me using relations between tables for reduce to reduce the data redundancy. Okay? <coughs> it, don't make, it doesn't make sense if we return to the data model the diagram that we have a band which plays rock and get the name of the style they play in the table. 
because we have a lot of bands that are actually a rock, right? And that's even difficult to fill in, okay? So this relationship here is one, avoid data redundancy and make efficient queries, efficient searches. And of course, a lighter DB. And it is so easy to scale. <coughs> if we handle uh, not structured data and our system, our extension database, increase uh, handle more data, more data, and we have to, 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 to make a big project. We are in a very, very big trouble. Implementation. <coughs> what I suggest is a tool we are working on it. It's uh, called Component Creator. It allows you to develop an entire component with knowing anything about coding. But you should define the data and this is because I explained everything before. What is a crud for both front-end and back? You have full functionalities about creating, deleting, updating. 100% uh, MDZ pattern. We respect uh, the model you control a part of software that Joomla implements. And of course, uh, we can get in 10 minutes the previous structure <coughs> working completely. If you want to try, if you want, I can show you how it works. I create a component which has the three tables we talked about before. But what are we missing? It's not the best table to do it, but uh, let's go to bands. What are we missing here in those fields? Yes, a field that allows us creating a relationship with another table. And it's pretty easy to do because we should relate, take a relation with journalist table. So let's create it. We can add a field. We can call this field and select this kind of foreign key, right? And after that, you should just select the table, select the key, and select the name of the We can uh, specify some parameters, like filtering, like including searches, and we can save it. And of course, we have the same problem with the uh, table records. What we miss here? The band relationship. If we have a glance here at the diagram, uh, Where should we place that field? In the end table or in the one table? Where did I place the foreign key which have a relationship between genders and that? Event? Yeah. Because we have only one for them. 
and where I should place the foreign key to link bands and records. Of course, because one record belongs only to one band. So let's go. It's another field. Uh, band. Foreign key. Um, but what if we have two bands with the same name? Imagine a list with records, and then with the title, and on the right side, the, the, the band name. But, for example, we have two bands, the name is the same. <coughs> no, we can use several fields to show. For example, uh, there was a band called Iron Maiden in the 60s. Yes. <laughs> we can put the, the country, right? Even the year. So we can distinguish from one. So, not only the name, but also the country, even the year. And we'll show three fields on the list. So, let's go. And we have now our component for We can build, download, and test. Let's go. Build. And I'm going to uh, Joomla demo site. Okay. And I want to show you how does it work? Right. We can go now to components, <coughs> bands, and we have here genus, bands, records. And what is categories? Any one of you have any idea? Categories records, we didn't talk about that. It's a kind of foreign key, but using the Joomla categories. So if we have uh, 100 EPs on our database, it makes no sense to repeat the field. If it, if it, if it, don't play, don't play, don't play, leave out. We can create categories as we create. Uh, Foreign keys. And the structure of the field is pretty simple because just I just have to select Joomla category. It's here, type, and I just select Joomla. The difference between a foreign key and a Joomla category is that you can use the Joomla category out of your component. You can use whatever you want in your Joomla. Okay? It's a kind of task, but it's more related to foreign key than anything else. <coughs> so, we can add, example, an item to save. And we can go here and say that's Zeppelin <laughs> from UK and about 67 
active, it's not active, and we just select rock. So easy, as you can see. So any non-developer can build custom extensions in Joomla with minutes. Let's see uh, the foreign key made with different uh, fields. Let's suppose that there's a band called Led Zeppelin from Greece, for example. And it was founded in 2000. And of course, it's active. But if I add a record, <coughs> for example, uh, one, it's, uh, tracks. Look at this, please. You can select. Which let's say one record. That's record. If the real let's say of the yes, I should select a type of record that I did create previously. <laughs> so this is a, a, a pretty uh, good example for uh, required fields. <laughs> you need to. Then we can create the one. And play and <coughs> close. And we have all the information about the record. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to create a custom extensions uh, within minutes. The main issue, I think, is getting the, <coughs> the structure pretty clear and implementing it is not a big deal. <coughs> if you want, uh, we have a free version, of course, um, a half price discount for members subscription. If you want to use Feel free to, to do it. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for, for attending here. And if you have any question about the presentation, feel free to ask.
For example, this uh, list of styles, mm -hmm. you can get the, the detail view, okay? And even you can add the, the component. But you should, here in the, in the fields, for example, uh, in the table records should be enabled to add a list view in the front end, add a uh, link to the detail page, and all from the okay. You can customize uh, every single thing. Okay, okay. Um, uh, By default, we create a create by, and this is related to the tables user in the Joomla installation. 
But you can use whatever table you have in, in your, your database. You can, mm, let's have a glance in the, when you select foreign key here, right? And look, look at this. You can use what, any table you have. You're welcome. Anything else? Yes, we have a, a, a wiki for and Andres made uh, really keen to help. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Thank you again for coming and I hope